Hello. It'll soon be time for you to get out and walk, young lady. Please don't touch the children, not without my permission. What? They're in my charge and I cannot be too careful. I would remind you that I knew this young girl's mother, which you never did. That doesn't make you her friend. As a matter of fact, it does. Well, I can't stay here to bandy words. Will you ask Mrs Patmore to send up the children's luncheon in half an hour? Ask her yourself, why don't you? No, I'm afraid tea was a little late. Oh, dear. Uh, can you manage? Should I give you a hand? I can manage, thank you, Miss West. Come to me, darling. Hello. <laughs> now, here's the little prince, my lady. See how happy he is to see his beautiful mamma. God bless him. Thank you, Nanny. Mr. Barrow, to you. Can you tell Mrs. Patmore I won't want the scrambled egg for Miss Sibby's tea? If you go through here and down the stairs, you can tell her yourself. Do it, please. I can't stop. The children are on their own. Can I help you? I doubt you would if you could. I'm sorry? Why didn't you give my instructions to Mrs. Patmore about the eggs? Because I didn't feel like it. Besides, why can't Miss Sibby have an egg to a tea? I don't have to explain my decisions to you. You're a member of staff, and the orders I give are to be obeyed. And aren't you a member of staff? Not in that way. Now, I believe I'm needed upstairs. Your ladyship, do you have a moment? What is it, Barrow? There's something worrying me, my lady, and I... But I can't hold it in anymore. Why? What's happened? It's Nanny West. I'm afraid it seems she's been leaving the children to their own devices. What? You mean she's neglecting them? I wouldn't have spoken up if it went for a... a little girl and baby boy being put at risk. Precious boy, and don't let that chauffeur's daughter disturb you anymore. Go back to sleep, you wicked little crossbreed. Your ladyship, I didn't see you there. Obviously not. I was just, uh, I was just having a game with Miss Sibby. I want you to pack tonight and leave first thing in the morning. But, your ladyship... Please put Master George back into his crib. You are not to touch the children again. Oh, I, I thought it was Nanny West ringing. No, Mrs Hughes, <gasps> Nanny West is leaving in the morning. Can you find her a bed for the night and ask one of the maids to sleep with the children? But, your ladyship, I was only joking. Please, Miss West, I prefer not to discuss it, <laughs> except to say that your values have no place in a civilised home. Now, Mrs Hughes, I'll wait here while Nanny West packs. You will fetch a maid and prepare a room. You understand? <laughs> Miss West is not to be left alone with the children. Not for one minute. Where did you get to last night? I was fast asleep before you came in and you were still sleeping when I left. I'm afraid it was very late. But I'm glad you're here now because I want you to know that we owe a great debt to Barrow here. It turns out Miss West is quite unsuited to the role of nanny she's leaving today. What? Not another one. Trust me, we'll talk about it later. I must run or I'll be late. Barrow, I meant what I said. Thank you. I'm glad, Your Ladyship. I just had a hunch that she wasn't quite all Sir Garnet. 